Hey guys, Kev here, and we are going to talk about one badass marker. <laughs> so, I never thought I'd do a video on this, but, you know, weirder things have happened, and I gotta tell you, I absolutely love this product to death. And it's odd, but it is a titanium bolt action Sharpie. That's right, this is a Sharpie. So, what you see... Let me uh, grab ye old Sharpie I used to use. If I can get it, there we go. This is what you're normally looking at right here. And uh, it's, oh, that's weird. It's about the size of a Sharpie. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so um, you guys all know tried and true Sharpie marker. They do have retractable ones. That is what this takes as refills is the... Uh, retractable ones, I believe. I have some here. I'm going to test out the refills. We're going to see how it goes in because there's a specific way it's supposed to go in, which I will not read instructions on, and we'll see if I get it right. A um, couple things to note off the bat. There's a link down in the description to Amazon where you can pick this up. It starts at $99.99 for the uh, plain titanium one, and then they have this one or a, I believe, a polished uh, you know, DLC one for 120. You can also go on their website and get them and they have uh, laser engraving available there. So whatever you want to do, this is the soul built Mark Smith. That is the name of the product. Um, it has a little bit of rattle there. You might notice, and that is not because the tolerances are poor. It's because there's a gate in here that, oops, there's a gate in here that opens up. You see that? As you push it forward. And that is what keeps the tip from drying out. So they had to build in a little bit of room there for that gate to be able to operate. So it's definitely worth having that a little bit of play because it makes it so your marker doesn't dry out. Um, it's a you know, larger sized item. You saw that it's compared to a Sharpie right there. Here is a Parker style uh, pen. So this is just a Parker size refill pen. And it's a lot bigger than that, right? Now this does have some cool features. Um, like I said, it takes the Sharpie refills. So you can put Sharpie refills in here. You can get them on Soulbuilt's website. I believe you can also just get any Sharpie retractable refills, and they will fit. Again, we'll look inside. I have some refills here I'm going to show you. And then they also just started a new feature, which is a pen conversion kit. So you can actually swap out to a Parker-style refill, which is obviously my favorite. Um, it says Parker G2 Standard Refill. And, um, yeah, we're going to check that out as well because this is something they're launching, like, right now, I guess. And um, you should check that out on their website. So here is a refill. So we can take a look right here at one of the refills. So it has that little uh, gate on it, I guess, right? Is this a cap I'm supposed to take off, or is this part of the... Uh... The refill, I don't want to break it, obviously, if it's not, if it's meant to be there, but it looks like it comes off. Ho, oh, Jimmy Jams, maybe not. Maybe not. And what does the spring do then, hey? Where did that spring come from, eh? All right, let's, uh, let's put that back. So they do have scan for instructions and to buy refills. Well... Kev over here didn't think that was important, so we didn't do it before this video. I could go on their website and look it up as we're uh, talking, but uh, why can't I do this again? I had It easily came off the first time. Come on, baby. Pull on you. Pull on you. There we go. All right. The spring must have been in here somehow, right? Like this. There. That's how it was set up. So, all right. Let's give this a shot. 
We're gonna unscrew down here. Let's see what comes out. If I can see, okay, so it does stay together like that. You see this? There's your cap. I just wanna make sure, is it in there a certain way? It looks like there's uh, lines in there. So we probably just have to line those up. Slide this guy out. So here is your refill right here. And here is the one that I took apart like an idiot. And we're gonna slide that in. I'm assuming it's not all that difficult, but we'll see. I think I gotta just line it up this way, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, that, yeah, okay. So let's see if it works. Hey, look at that, worked right away. What was I, what were the instructions? I don't know. So they do all have this little line in them. That was something I was looking at right there uh, on mine. I was like, wait, is there something wrong with it? But no, I don't think so. So let's unscrew this again. And we are going to take it out. And we're going to try this Parker refill. So they gave me these extra refills. So just to show you, you can put all types of different cartridges in here. So you have, oh, this is cool. So I don't know if it comes this way. They probably just buy all these and then they cut them and then you can just take the refill out, I guess. Um, you're obviously not gonna just slide this whole thing in there, are you? <laughs> just making sure, guys. So this, you would pull out. Yeah, there we go. And there you go. You just have a black refill for a Sharpie. And then in door number two, I don't know why it doesn't just slide right out. Isn't that weird that it doesn't just slide right out? Um, do you need giant nails for this? There we go. So you have a red Sharpie right here. Interesting. And then obviously a blue, green, and then it even takes highlighter refills. Because it's this, oh, that looks awesome. Highlighter is so cool, but useless for me. Um, so it takes all those. It looks like they buy them as retractables, and then they just cut the end off so that you can have it. So... You could just buy any Sharpie retractable product, I guess, the fine retractables, and then you can take the refill out yourself. So up to you, however you want to go about it. I would just buy them from them. They sell them for, uh, I believe it's five bucks for a set of two of these. So I don't know, you know, who would need that much more, but hey, you never know. So I'm going to put these back in here and let's check out the uh, Parker style refill here use the last thing i reviewed which is the hawk deadlock really sweet knife and here we go so i'm guessing you take it as such slide that pupper in there take the cap Ah, oh, there's a little collet that gets popped in, I see. All right, hold on. Why don't you want a thread there, bucko? There we go. Tighten it down, and now... Boom! Look at that! You got plenty of tip there. I am a big fan of tip on a pen i want lots of tip exposure i hate when you get a little stubby tip it's really annoying to me so let's just grab some paper right in the rain paper here's our pen we are writing with our mark smith that's so cool okay so there you go, bolt action. Does this have any play in it? No, not really. 
So yeah, they needed that play for the gate. They don't need it for this, obviously. And it's super snappy. Definitely got better action on the pen because they're able to add that extra bit. Oh, yeah, that's good. Um, this is really cool. I mean, you can see it comes out a little bit here. And yeah. So I think this is cool for somebody who wants a one in, you know, something that does everything one and done. This is a really good option. For me personally, I'm just going to be honest, right? I prefer a normal size pen for writing. You know, I'm not going to want this big old guy to write with all the time right i like the size and everything for the fact that it is a sharpie you know what i mean but i wouldn't like choose it in general if i had options if that makes sense so i just want to put that out there i would love to figure out which one is the one i used but i can't um, which is kind of a good sign. I mean, obviously I had a full one in there, I guess. So we will just take this guy and put it back over here. So that is how you put the Parker refill in here. And then if you want to remove it, let me try to get this all out in one piece. So I don't have to you know, worry about it. This is just a cap that goes on the back of your reef. I mean, it's pretty straightforward spring and this goes in there. I'm going to try to keep it in here. Oh, this was it. It was just in this bottom thing. Okay. Then I'm going to just pop it. Oops. Pop it right in here like so and shut that guy. And then I'll take my refills and put that there. Get rid of this stuff. And then let's see if we can get this back in. So there's a certain way it has to go in. And what I was thinking is it goes in. Don't know why I struggle with these threads. There we go. Okay, let's see. And yep, seems like we're good to go. And you got that little bit of rattle again. Again, that's normal. So as a Sharpie, this thing is fantastic. Um, I truly enjoy writing with this. I mean, I really have enjoyed it. I've um, used it a lot since I got it. And I really see it as the end-all, be-all of what I need for my Sharpie. You know what I mean? I know there's not options. I think this is the only titanium Sharpie option. I know it's weird to think about that, but some people use a Sharpie more than a pen, you know? I use a Sharpie a lot. Um, so I ship a lot of packages and I mark them up and that's when I use Sharpies. And then sometimes with knife stuff, I use it a lot too. So it's just really handy for me to have. And I think it's a cool product. And, um, I reached out to them and asked them if they would send me one and they were kind enough to do so. Um, and they even offered to, uh, put something on there and I said dead nuts. So... Uh, I'm really happy with this. I think it's a cool product, uh, and I wanted to show it to you guys. And it has versatility. You know, you have Sharpie. You can do any color Sharpie. You can do highlighter. And then now you can even get a conversion kit and put in a Parker uh, or a G2 refill, which is really cool. So uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Shout out to Soul Built. I really appreciate you guys sending this my way. Um, and again, I'll link this down on Amazon. I'll also put their website if you just want to go through them direct. Um, I don't have an affiliate link or anything like that with them. Obviously, if you pick it up on Amazon with my link, I get a little bit of something. Um, but, you know, whatever. So let me know what you think. Love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.